Over the course of its illustrious 47-year history, Apple Inc. has cultivated an ecosystem that has redefined technology and reshaped industries. From groundbreaking innovations like the Macintosh computer to ubiquitous devices like the iPhone and transformative services like the App Store, Apple's impact on the world cannot be overstated. Yet, amidst its towering success, ominous clouds loom on the horizon. The recent legal battle with the U.S. Department of Justice and multiple states over alleged antitrust violations has cast a shadow over Cupertino's empire, threatening to upend the very foundation upon which Apple stands. Are you struggling to explain your idea? Your audience is not getting what you're trying to say. An animated explainer video is a perfect solution for you. Explainer Video simplifies any complex ideas through engaging animations, transitions, voiceovers, and meaningful scripts, which all together create a fun experience for any viewer. And here comes Ten Studio, a team of skilled professionals dedicated to creating engaging explainer videos. With over thousands completed projects, we have the expertise to create explainer videos that break down your message and connect with your audience. Get in touch with Ten Studio today. The crux of the matter lies in accusations leveled against Apple, alleging monopolistic practices and anti-competitive behavior in violation of the Sherman Antitrust Act. The DOJ, bolstered by the participation of 15 states and the District of Columbia, asserts that Apple's dominance in various markets has enabled it to stifle competition, impose restrictive practices, and exert undue control over both users and developers. To comprehend the gravity of the situation, it is imperative to dissect the arguments presented by both sides. The DOJ contends that Apple's unparalleled financial might, surpassing the GDP of numerous nations, has facilitated its monopolistic grip on the tech landscape. Central to their case is the allegation that Apple leverages its dominance to coerce users and developers into compliance with its stringent rules and regulations. Examples abound, from the infamous iMessage blue bubble lock-in to the obstruction of cloud gaming services and the exclusion of super apps like WeChat from its ecosystem. Moreover, the DOJ takes aim at Apple's App Store policies, particularly its exorbitant commission fees and prohibition of third-party app stores, which they argue stifles innovation and inflates costs for developers and consumers alike. In stark contrast, Apple vehemently defends its practices, asserting that they are driven by a steadfast commitment to user privacy, product integrity, and seamless integration. They contend that their closed ecosystem is essential for maintaining the security and reliability of their products. For instance, Apple argues that iMessage's exclusivity to its platform is necessary to ensure end-to-end -end encryption and safeguard user data. Similarly, they justify their stringent app guidelines as crucial for upholding quality and security standards, thereby safeguarding user experience and trust. Amidst this legal maelstrom, discerning the truth requires a nuanced perspective. While the DOJ's concerns regarding Apple's market dominance and restrictive practices are valid, it is equally crucial to acknowledge Apple's rationale for maintaining control over its ecosystem. Indeed, striking a balance between fostering competition and preserving product integrity is paramount. One area ripe for reform is the App Store. While Apple's stringent guidelines and hefty commission fees have irked developers, alternative platforms like Google Play offer greater flexibility and affordability. Empowering developers with the option to distribute their apps through alternative channels could mitigate concerns regarding monopolistic control and stimulate innovation. Moreover, revisiting commission structures to ensure fairness and transparency would engender goodwill within the developer community. Additionally, concerns raised by the DOJ regarding interoperability and exclusivity merit consideration. While Apple's closed ecosystem has undoubtedly contributed to its product's seamless integration and user experience, embracing interoperability with third-party platforms could enhance consumer choice and foster innovation. For instance, allowing iMessage to function on non-Apple devices, albeit with certain limitations, could alleviate concerns regarding lock-in while preserving Apple's commitment to privacy and security. Moreover, revisiting exclusivity agreements, such as those with super apps like WeChat, could broaden consumer access to diverse services without compromising Apple's core values. Collaborative efforts between tech giants to enable cross-platform functionality, while undoubtedly challenging, hold the promise of enriching user experiences and fostering healthy competition. 
However, it is essential to approach reforms with caution, mindful of unintended consequences. For instance, mandating cross-platform compatibility for Apple Watch could compromise its seamless integration with iOS, undermining its appeal and functionality. Similarly, relaxing app guidelines too liberally risks compromising user security and trust, potentially exposing consumers to malware and privacy breaches. In light of recent developments in the European Union, where regulatory pressure has prompted Apple to implement reforms such as allowing third-party app stores and adopting RCS support for iMessage, similar changes in the United States seem increasingly plausible. However, any regulatory intervention must strike a delicate balance between fostering competition and preserving Apple's ethos of innovation and user-centric design. In conclusion, the legal battle between Apple and the DOJ underscores the complex interplay between market dominance, consumer protection, and innovation. While concerns regarding Apple's monopolistic practices are legitimate, any regulatory intervention must tread carefully to avoid unintended consequences. By embracing reforms that promote competition, foster innovation, and safeguard user interests, Apple can navigate this turbulent legal landscape while staying true to its core values. Ultimately, achieving a harmonious balance between regulatory oversight and technological innovation is paramount to shaping a future where Apple continues to thrive while fostering a more competitive and inclusive tech ecosystem. Thank you.